Hello everyone, this is Dr. Jawad. If you're new to my channel, thanks for watching. Please do me a favor, hit the subscribe button down below and punch the like button and also the bell notification. So when I upload videos, you will be first be notified. If you're watching on Facebook, thank you very much. I always appreciate a growing audience. If you like this material back here, hit the like button and share with a friend. I always appreciate a growing audience. Hope you enjoy the video. Hey, if you have any questions or comments, please leave it down below. I do read and answer back. Thank you. Hello everyone, this is Dr. Juwad. I'm gonna answer a question that's asked a lot, either by my patients, my students, people who see me on social media. I use this product personally, Serapeptidase. Okay, let's see if I can zoom it in. I don't know if I could get it in there. Okay. Now, I don't promote any brands personally, but that brand is Doctors Best. I like them, I've done the research on them. And the question is, what is the dosage that I used for this situation? Now, serapeptase, it's otherwise known as serratio peptidase. And it's a proteolytic enzyme, which means it chops up or digests proteins. And they found it, it's produced by the bacteria in the gut of the silkworms, what was used to help digest their cocoons. Now, there's many benefits of taking pe serapeptase, okay? This is just three of them. It helps reduce pain by inhibiting the release of pain-inducing amines called bradykinins. Now, when we're in pain, we release, again, these pain-inducing substances called bradykinins, and what it does, it inhibits the release of that. Also, it thins the mucus formed from the injury and facilitating the fluids, the fluids drain to. So again, it helps speed up the repair. So like if you have like sinusitis and things like that. Also, it dissolves protein byproducts of blood coagulation called fibrin. We need fibrin for, to help clot the blood. It is able to dissolve the fibrin and other da dead or damaged tissues without living the living tissue, without harming the living tissue. So this is phenomenal for any type of arterial damage. So in turn, taking serapeptase, you're going to be able to heal faster, fight inflammation, breathe easier, especially with sinusitis and uh, allergy situations, kill antibiotic resistant bacteria, break down scar tissue. So this is phenomenal for arterial health, okay? Now the dose, this is the question, how much should I take? First of all, I always recommend taking serapeptase on an empty stomach. You want to take it on an empty stomach so you're not going to, so you're not going to interfere with the protein breakdown of regular foods. Now, the dosage varies according to your situation. If you want to use it for prevention, you use 10 milligrams daily on an empty stomach. Now, if you have certain conditions like arthritis, sinusitis, bronchitis, cardiovascular situations, do you want to up the dosage to 20 milligrams a day? Okay? So, if, or if you have pain, okay, ow, oh, I hurt, I'm in pain. What you want to do, you want to start with 10 milligrams daily, and then you want to maybe up it to 20 milligrams if needed. Now, I work out, and when I have very, very strenuous workouts and or if I'm stressed out, yeah, sure, I may up it to 20 milligrams just to help reduce the pain and inflammation that's caused by my workouts. I've been working out for 30 years. Now, if you're suffering from an injury, trauma, post-surgical situations, I always recommend take 30 milligrams for two days. You want to basically get it in your system. You want to start this healing process. Remember, you want to reduce the mucus. You want to reduce the buildup of scar tissue. So by taking 30 milligrams only twice, again, for two days, then you break it down to 20 milligrams until the pain and swelling subside. You don't want to be taking 30 milligrams for the whole duration because again, there's too much of a good thing. So no, because you're going to look at different bottles. It may come in international units, it may come in milligrams. Now, the ratio is 10 milligrams equal 20,000 international units. And five milligrams equal 10,000 international units. So you may want to do that again. Do the equation on that in according to your condition. Now, the one thing that I always note is the fact that serapeptase thins out the blood. Okay, again, do the mechanism of action. It thins out the blood. If you take it with fish oil, okay, you're going to make the blood too thin. Now, aspirin is a phenomenal blood thinner in of itself, especially if people have cardiovascular disease. If you take the two together, 
Again, it may thin out the blood just way too much. Okay, and of course, if you're on any prescription blood thinners, Coumadin or any of that, that nature, do not take serapeptase. Okay, so serapeptase is phenomenal for the healing properties. Remember, 10 milligrams prevention. Arthritis, sinusitis, you want to start off with 10 milligrams, then you want to bump it up to 20 if needed. Post surgery, surgery trauma, 30 milligrams for two days, and then break it down to 20 milligrams until everything subsides. Okay, hope you answered the question. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I do answer the questions. I do comment on the comments. Thanks for watching. Share with a friend. I'll see you the next time. Bye for now.